So today I have uh, Sergio. That's the guy right there. And I have Gio. So, <laughs> so um, this podcast will be, um, I wanted to make a subject that's uh, very popular right now. And um, I wanted to do it. Um, why is powerlifting uh, so popular at the moment, especially for the young generation? Um, now, Sergio, if you could just tell us a little about your about yourself. Um, well, before you do, um, Sergio's been doing powerlifting basically his whole entire five year career because he's like fourteen, um, <laughs> and he 14 wants to switch to body. Yeah, right. And wants to switch to bodybuilding. Geo just recently started. So first, uh, Serge, just tell me like a little bit, just so people know who you are. Um, and then Gio, just a little bit, and then we'll get into it. So my name is Sergio Maglione. Uh, I've been powerlifting for, I would say, about four years now. Um, competitively, like uh, I did my first meet when I was 16. So I guess you could say four years, but probably leaning towards three, just because once I got my license i ended up taking like a couple of months off but um within the last four years i did about five meets um it's you know it's it's uh the sport is a way to be competitive without actually being athletic um okay well hold on before we get into anything else tell tell the people your numbers because that that's what that's what's like gonna give oh, them, yeah, like, yeah, an image. Yeah. So, um my best squat ever is a uh, 666 pounds, 302.5 kg. Uh, my best bench ever uh, in meat. My best comp bench is 402. In the gym, it's 420. And uh, my best deadlift is 705 pounds. And that was all done at like a 194 pound nice. body weight. <clears throat> nice. What about you, Gia? What's your numbers? Because I know you just switched from bodybuilding to powerlifting yeah so my best squat is definitely 650 i don't know the conversions off the top that's of fine head. don't worry it's okay yeah. whatever I'm not <laughs> yeah. I'm not um, my best deadlift obviously these are not in competition because i haven't competed yet and my first meet will actually be in november 19th um <clears throat> my best deadlift is 716 and my best bench is uh, 425. Got you. Okay. So that gives an idea uh, to everybody of like where the numbers stand. Um, you know, I know uh, Gio is basically building his social media platform. It's growing. Sergio has a gigantic platform um, on TikTok. I think he's almost close to 200,000 followers. His Instagram, the followers are high, but the uh, interactions are like insane. I mean, insane. So um you know so Sergio definitely has become a very huge influencer um as well as a competitor within the sport so you know what I noticed in powerlifting especially in the recently is you know the the younger generation is flocking towards powerlifting um you know looking from the outside because I do bodybuilding um it seems very positive uh very uh, a beat motivational um yeah there's always some humor going around where you know the long you know breaks and between sets and all that stuff but outside of that it just seems like it's very entertaining um you know uh, everybody's always cheering i don't really see any negativity um you know outside of hey i can do this number i can do this number but uh for the most part it seems like if I was young, I'd be like, hey, man, why not? I could jump into it. So um, so what do, you, what do you think, Sergio, man? What do you think is going on? I just think um, from a kid's perspective, it's like if you want to get in the gym, your main goal is to get strong. That's your main goal, uh, especially coming from like a 13, 14, 15-year-old. Because like you're not thinking about stepping on stage at 15 years old. I mean, there are – you know, people out there that, you know, could, but I mean, for the most part, your average 13, 14, 15, 16 year old is just going to the gym to get as strong as possible. And, um, you know, now it's, it's a, it's a huge, huge trend of not just pa not just power lifting specifically, but like just going to the gym 
in general is like a huge trend all over social media. Like my brother is 14 and he literally goes to the gym six days a week. Um, you know, nonstop hardcore. This kid is like in it. And, um, I just think that going to the gym in general now for the younger gen generation is just taking off, just taking off. Like you could walk into any commercial gym and you'll see like 13 year olds just throwing around weight. Yeah. Like when I, like back when I was that age, that was just not a thing. We were playing video games, this, that, this, that. And it's like, it's crazy how like within five years, so much changes and um it's just it's like super cool it's like super super cool seeing that do you would you say it's it's easier to pick up lifting heavy weight power lifting than it is trying to go in there and like become like a bodybuilder and so forth um because i feel like listen prs can most likely be set a lot quicker in the beginning than putting on 20 pounds of muscle of course in, in yeah. that aspect so, um, I mean, I would say that perspective, um, especially from the younger kids, because, you know, look, everybody wants, wants it quick. Um, and it's fun to get PRs and they can come very quickly. So I think it's the hardest yeah. side of the bodybuilding. But, you know, let's, you know, from your perspective, Gio, because, you know, you've bodybuilded um, majority of, you know, your gym life, I say gym yeah. life. And yeah. recently you just changed to powerlifting. So, you know, what would you say, you know, kind of not pushed you, but encouraged you to change into that. And, you know, what do you, how do you feel about it compared to what you did before? Uh, it's definitely a lot different in a sense that like the training is completely different from bodybuilding to powerlifting. Um, from a powerlifting perspective, and I've only been doing it for four weeks, so it hasn't been that long, but <clears throat> I think the training as far as powerlifting is more, more taxing on the body to a degree. Obviously, there's different levels to that. But from the, definitely the amount of poundage you put on your body is a lot greater as far as the heavy weight. Yeah, bodybuilders can be strong. Don't get me wrong. You know, like Ronnie Coleman, you know, every branch warrant, everybody. They can all be strong, but I feel like it, there's a different level to yeah. that. So I guess the reason for me switching is like, right now I wanted to change. Like I've been bodybuilding since, since I knew about it when I was 18, you know, and then I joined the Marine Corps. So that kind of put a hold on everything. Right. right. So, you know, going to boot camp, going to, through the basic training, all that, all that good shit. So and I just wanted to change. Like I liked, you know, at the end of the day, I liked being in the gym for the right reasons. You know, I liked lifting heavy weights. So I was like, you know what? Why don't I give it a try? You know, what's the worst that can happen? I try, I don't like it. I go back to bodybuilding. You know, like there's no, there's no loss in this, right. you know, just, just from trying it. So that's so what I'm at. Would you say, but well, what's the positive, man? Like, what do you like about it? Like because I, I get the working out, the, the taxation, yeah. uh, the central nervous system. But honestly, from what I've noticed, obviously, I've been in both sports, mm -hmm. obviously, powerlifting a lot uh, less of time, but I've noticed there's a lot more positivity in powerlifting. Okay. Like, I feel like bodybuilding is a very political, very subjective sport, right? Correct. So I feel like there's a lot more room for negativity, people hating on each other, especially at the amateur level, right? Yes. Like, for what though? Like what for? Why? You know, at the end of the day, everyone everyone does cardio, everyone trains, everyone, you know, diets, whatever. What's the need for all the what's the need for all the hate? You I'm one personally, I'm wondering if uh, a lot of that bodybuilding aspect. So, you know, powerlifting, it was so small. I mean, bodybuilding is small in general, and powerlifting is even smaller. So the young generation that's getting into let's just say powerlifting okay and it's not just competitive side but just in general the idea and training over like a powerlifter their only things they can really look back on is people throwing up big numbers and there's never really any like you know your only flex at that point is the big number mm -hmm. right versus in bodybuilding you know you have a lot more to look at and then 
that flex is like your body. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it becomes a little bit egotistical. Mm. Um, so I think that could be play a part in it. It just, listen, from my outside, if I was a teenager and, um, you know, and I was looking at everything, I'd be like, wow, this is awesome. The bodybuilding, this is the powerlifting. But I feel like I would probably see a lot more positivity from the powerlifting. I mean, listen, man, who the hell wouldn't get excited when there's 20 people around screaming, cheering you on yeah. to make a lift? Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Versus, you know, versus say you finish a gym session as a bodybuilder, you put up your training routine on social media, or you do some posing routine and you get, oh, this form was wrong. Well, why don't you pose this way? Oh, well, you're missing this body part. Yeah. You're missing this body part. So at the end of the day, you always feel like, am I really attainable to reach a certain point? What do I have to do? Versus powerlifting, it's like you fucking lift it or you don't. Like you exactly. hit that number or you don't hit the number. Like yeah. they're really, how, how else can somebody else judge you other than you hit the number, you did it. So <clears throat> there's no really like, you can't throw a negativity because if I mean, you got sir, it, sorry, yeah. you that, but there's certain things like certain judges in powerlifting. Obviously I, I'm not very familiar, but I feel like certain judges in powerlifting would judge. Oh no, no, I get that. But that's more on a competitive okay. side. Yeah, I'm yeah. referring to just from the outside of somebody's looking and be like, look, man, I want to do something in the gym yeah. like that way. Now, you know, what, what I would say is, you know, say for like, for like you, Sergio, like, you know, the, 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 the whole power of thing thing is going to grow. I mean, we always see it inside the gyms with, you know, expansions and I'm, I'm going to be honest, if corporate gyms don't catch up to what's going on, it, they're going to have a very hard time trying to bring in a younger crowd into their gyms. Now you're young, Serge, you started out young. Um, look, if, if we had a bodybuilding and we had kids, there's different advice I can give, but from your personal perspective, what is your best advice to give to young kids um, who are getting into the sport? Um, to help them out realistically like what should they expect what what's gonna what's going on i feel like especially for young kids uh newbie gains is big um that if you train properly and what i mean by train properly is like really dial in on those compound lifts squat bench and deadlift if you prioritize those three and train properly like with like rpe rir etc cetera, etc cetera, newbie gains can go a long way like like you will see kids hit prs every week right just because now they are using their muscles in like a different way they didn't necessarily put on size or get stronger it's they've always had that strength they didn't just put it to use in like a technical way Gotcha. But the best advice that I would give to kids is honestly, stop the e stop the ego lifting stuff and build yourself a base. Um, build build yourself a solid base. Don't even bother maxing out every week because eventually you're gonna get hurt or you know something's gonna happen and it's just not gonna benefit you longevity. I would say build yourself a solid base. Um, and then while you're building that base, really focus on technique. Uh, technique goes a long, long way. Um, you know, make sure you hit depth on squat, make sure you pause your bench, make sure your butt doesn't come up on bench, make sure uh, your knees are locked on deadlift, et cetera, et cetera. But technique, um, you know, if, if kids prioritize technique at, a young age, let's just say five years go by, you know, they would probably be one of the best in the sport if they start at that young age. Yeah. Now, if like me personally, whenever I speak to somebody young and they're trying to get serious in the bodybuilding, I tell them the first thing is hire a coach. Like that's my number one thing. Would you say it's, it's the same effect for powerlifting or is it more of shadowing somebody that's a currently a powerlifter before moving into a particular coach like is is it a really a necessity to have a coach in powerlifting right away if you say if you're not paying into even compete anytime soon you're just getting into the sport 
um, versus in bodybuilding, I'm like, you don't even have to compete. And I'm telling people, look, man, you got, you got to get a coach, man, because lifting is only like this little centimeter of what's important versus, you know, the diet supplementation and so forth. I would say uh, a coach really isn't that important when you first start. I would say, like, I tell all of my friends that, you know, are your average gym, gym goers that go here and there. I tell them before you even think about hiring a coach, make sure you're going to the gym consistently, cons consistently on a weekly basis. Like I'm talking at least four days a week. Um, and, you know, obviously, again, if you're trying to get into power lifting specifically, it should be, you should focus on those compound squat bench and deadlift for, for, for the four to five days that you do go to the gym a week. Um, powerlifting doesn't, I mean, of course, nutrition plays a huge factor, but I mean, when you hire a power lifting coach, they are there to pro to like program you and they're not really there for the diet aspect. Yeah. That's where you get your new competitive. Coach. Yeah. So mainly competitive yeah, yeah. on a side I note, mean, listen, on a side note. Is Gio okay? He looks so serious over there. He's like a kid. I'm, only, I'm listening. I'm listening <laughs> to the conversation. What do you want me to say? Wait, shut up, <laughs> but uh, no, I see what you're saying. Like the coaches are more uh, important in powerlifting if you are actually going to do a meet. That's the bottom line. Like you're going to do a meet. And, yeah, that's the thing. That. But like, it's all about learning your body first. Like when I first started bodybuilding, I didn't get a coach until like, Three, four years deep. But you know what? I would say from my personal um, experience, yeah, I would say that, yes, you were trying to learn your body. And I decided to do the same thing. But I'm going to tell you right now um, that um, you would have learned 10 times more if somebody was overseeing it. Like, yeah. I know for a fact, man, I, I wasted like five years when I first started in bodybuilding because I don't know shit. And then even when I got a coach, I wasted a couple more time and stuff like that. So um, I try to bypass that altogether. Um, so in overall, I would say, listen, bodybuilding, get a fucking coach right off the bat, um, hire somebody, powerlifting, like more towards, you know, you're competing, get a coach. Other than that, find a it. friend in the gym that fucking lifts like a powerlifter and shadow them that's it exactly if you find exactly. sergio he charges 500 dollars an hour powerlifters <laughs> are in there for like six hours in a gym it might add up but... <laughs> stool. <laughs> Snacks. um but yeah i mean that's so guys you know we can go into a bunch of a lot of other subjects but i really wanted to touch base on here um and then just give encouragement and uh, some information to the younger generation, especially all the guys that are starting out. And um, for anybody to just watch this, um, you know, Gio was the co-host that did so much in this chat. He'll be tagged. Time, so. and, just... and Sergio's the superstar. <laughs> but uh, no, I, in reality, Sergio, thank you so much, man. Um, look, dude, you're, you're grown in a sport for all you guys who are watching this. If you're into powerlifting, uh, Sergio's an individual you want to watch. The kid's 20. The kid has insane numbers. It's just, it's not going to slow down. You know what I'm saying? And then for anybody else who's been doing anything else, just take it from Gio, man. He just started, you know, a couple weeks ago and he loves the sport. You know, sometimes, you know, we may think we love the one sport we're doing. And the next thing we try something for fun and we end up seeing that, wait a second, this is, this is pretty fucking cool. So yeah. Um, any other any other uh, last words uh, for the young generation? Have fun. It's it's uh, at the end of the day. I know for some people, um, you know, it's like completely different. And but the gym is a hobby. You should be able to have fun. You should be able to go in there, enjoy yourself, and uh, just just genuinely have a, have a good time. It's a great place to go uh, to go to when you're stressed out, when you got shit going on in your life. So it's, it's a great place to just get away from everything. So where you could solely focus on yourself and um, 
you know, then, you know, competitiveness comes along and, you know, you either pick your path, uh, bodybuilding or power or power mm-hmm. lifting. Mm-hmm. And I, and I would personally say like, I mean, from a majority of the bodybuilders that I've, that I've talked to, um, you know, they, they, they started off pushing heavy weight, right? Ideally it wasn't necessarily power lifting, but they were, you know, trying to get stronger, trying to get stronger. Their main goal wasn't size. So, I mean, just go in there, um, you know, try, just, just have fun, you know, perfect your craft, uh, and just, you know, just, just have fun, have fun. Cause I have fun every single day that I'm at the gym. That's, That's it. it. And then make sure when you deadlift, you bang the deadlift bar. Oh, sure oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Slam the weight, scream a little bit. And there you go. All right, guys, listen, thank you so much for jumping on and uh, guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, and we see you soon for the next podcast. Thank you, man.